to Long Beach Poly High School, yes, home of scholars and champions, very proud. Boom. So when I saw, <laughs> and you're from Jordan too, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I must say, when I saw the lineup today and I saw you guys, I was so excited because many people don't know the Long Beach Poly Jazz Festival has a huge following, an international following, actually. Tell us a little bit about what you guys have been doing. It's been a while, but I know you guys are doing great things. Obviously, you're here. Tell us about what you've been up to. Sure. So, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not a cold, but um, I actually graduated last year. And uh, this year, the their top combo, Polly, they got the first place in the Reno Jazz Festival out of like, dozens, maybe like a hundred or more jazz combos. So, you know, they're they're doing well. <coughs> it's always been a, I'm going to hold this mic, bless your heart, because I don't want to get sick, and I want you to feel better. <laughs> so they they got a, they won the Jazz Festival. I know that they have traveled many places. You are Tell us about your part and your role in today. Okay, uh, I was here with uh, Rick Parma and Chi-Town Soul. Uh, we played a little bit earlier. Uh, really phenomenal, but uh, it's kind of uh, crazy because uh, I met Sam uh, at Poly. Uh, the teacher Lori Grace, uh, I work closely with her in a couple of programs uh, and uh, I met Sam actually playing at an event for Polly and he was a student back then and he's continuing on with his uh, career and, and we just stayed in contact and he's such, a, such an amazing talent man and to see him on stage um, and yeah. doing what the professionals are doing like right after school uh, that's an amazing thing man so, so big ups to you Sam. Man. Well you know that so many schools are taking out programs that have to do with the arts, which is really just hurts my heart because there's so many great talents out there. How do you feel about that, the importance of music staying in schools, how it makes a difference in so many uh, of our young people's lives and their ability to express themselves? I'm going to hold this because I know you're, you're, you're struggling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go, uh, ahead. Sure. go ahead, Jay. Um, yeah, I'm I'm such a, a education a educational advocate. Advocate. I have my own personal program because I've seen the lack of uh, music programs and the ability of the students um, that were coming through. So I started a program called Drums for Success, mm -hmm. which is a program that is geared towards music education um, and it's the continuation of drum education. Not only do we teach drums, but we teach uh, piano. Um, bass guitar, music production, and all these things. Uh, we also par partner with uh, Long Beach Community Action Partnership, uh, yes. uh, where we uh, teach um, uh, silk screen, photography, film and TV. Uh, wow. So all the all the art programs, we're trying to keep that alive in the city of Long Beach, and I, I'm so blessed to be a part of that. Um, so yeah, definitely, I feel uh, strongly about that, and I, 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 I wish there was something that we could continue to do to keep the arts alive, because it's such a great thing. You know, this, this whole festival is exactly. based on the arts, so you know, like for us to be missing that at any point, uh, I, w I would hate for that to happen. You know? Well, we've got great talent right here, local talent, making a difference in the community from the city of Long Beach, giving back Long Beach Poly High School and Jordan High School. I'm Cameron Green. We're at the Jazz Festival in Gardena, the 14th annual for Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.